Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to the Salesforce CPQ series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up block pricing in CPQ. So let's start. So this is one of the product I have here. So to implement block pricing, you need to edit the product and go to the pricing method and select as block. Click save. Now you need to set the blocks of prices. So go to the related tab and go to block prices related list. Click edit all. So here uh, you need to define the blocks of prices. So I'm giving the name as block price block one and lower bound and upper bound. These are the quantities you need to provide. So let's say I am giving from one to six. The price, the flat price would be 100. So what that means, if your quantity is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you are going to pay the flat price of 100, $100. So here upper bound is not included. Now next block I am going to define as price block 2. Here from where I am going to start from the upper bound of the previous block. So from 6 to 11. So it's going to cover 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So for that the price what I am going to do is Let's say I'm going to ask for $180 for 6 to 10 quantities. I'm going to click save. Now let's see it on the quote. This is one of the quotes. I'm going to quote lines. Now add product. I'm going to select this product. High capacity toner cartridge. Click select. Now, as you can see, the quantity is one. So it's showing me 100 as the price. So which is coming from the price block one. OK, now let me change the quantity to four and click calculate. Again, the price is coming as 100, which is why because it is coming from the price block one. Now let's try as six and click calculate. So now you can see the price is coming as 180 from the price block 2. Okay. Now let's try for 10 and click calculate. It's, it's still coming as 180. Now, what if you are giving the quantity as 11 and click calculate? In that case, it's going to show you an error that you have not defined any block price for this quantity. So, what you can do is for any number of quantity above your last upper bound okay so in our case the last upper bound is 10 so till 10 we have configured the price blocks but what if uh, what what about the other quantities after the 10 so for that there is a uh, there is a uh, method of overage overage rate so in order to implement that you have to create a field on the block price object click new and select the currency as the type click next and give the name as overage rate you need to keep the same name okay then only it's gonna work length 16 and decimal i'm giving it as 2 click next visible to all click next and save it what overage means Basically, it is the price of one unit above your last upper bound. So uh, I'm going to show you how it's going to look. So just refresh your block price uh, tab. Click edit all again. So as you can see here, one more uh, box is added that is for overage rate. OK, so uh, I'm going to give overage rate for above 11. So I'm giving the name as overage block. So for uh, overage block, you need to define the initial quantity. So that is 11 because my last upper bound was 11. So for 11, I'm going to charge 200 as a flat price for 11 quantities. For 10 quantities, I'm going to charge 180 from the price block 2. And for 11 quantities, I'm going to charge 200 from overage block. And any, any more from 
11 12 13 for one unit i'm gonna charge is 20. so if you can see above 10 if you are selecting 11 then you are gonna pay 180 plus 20 if you are selecting 12 then you are gonna pay 180 plus 20 plus 20 so that's how overage works i'm gonna save it now let's see it in action now 11 i have given i'm calculating it as you can see now the price has come as 200 which means 180 as the flat price from price block 2 for 10 quantities and for 11th quantity you are gonna pay extra 20 and similarly if you are giving it as 12 and calculate then you need to pay 220 okay 180 plus 20 plus 20 20 dollar for each quantity about 10 quantities so that's how overage rates work so this was about block pricing if you like this video please like it and comment on it and for more stay tuned on my stay tuned on my channel as a Vishay Bagherwal I am gonna put remaining pricing videos pricing tools videos percent of total option price override and everything thank you